cops, folks, and they are pathetic. I mean, you, they're just weak. You look in their eyes. A real warrior, somebody who's really strong, wants to fight other warriors. I mean, it, it, I mean, it, it, it's just totally sick. It's just, it's really a bunch of limp-wristed people in, in big fancy battle outfits. And don't sit there and tell me it isn't true. Don't you dare, in sitting there in your ignorance, neck deep in the cess of your ignorance, with all sorts of detritus floating around you. I'm sure it's in the city. In your ignorant brain, don't you sit there and say I'm making that up, punk. I'm talking to you out there that are in denial. That think you're patriots. You go look up what I just told you and find out it's true. Don't you just sit there and say I'm lying about it. Face it. You mean nothing to these people. Nothing. Our way of life is under attack. But we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on public means for expanding its sphere of influence. Watch out. On infiltration instead of invasion. On subversion instead of elections. On intimidation instead of free choice. On guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world for the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of men. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision now, is that treason? Is that espionage? Hitler couldn't conquer us. Stalin, uh, you know, Napoleon, whoever, couldn't conquer England, couldn't conquer America. But now we're conquered by these private bankers who have screwed everything up by design and gotten us deep in debt, building their empire, and now they say, don't worry, we got a plan, we're gonna take over even more, and, uh, and, and meanwhile, look out, Iran wants to nuke him. Look out, there's Muslim terrorists everywhere. Meanwhile, the illegal aliens are pouring across, there's thousands dead. Obama says, you know, that he's gonna leave the border open so that people get terrorized into accepting amnesty. There are true people out there. There are people, and you know you're one of them. So it's up to you. You know you're good. You know you've got passion. You know you care about liberty and freedom. And you have to have confidence in yourself and take action.